and like the pattern of India's trade with South East Asian country. India's research for economic space post economic liberation of 1990 resulted in the lowest policy since 1992. India's trade with ASEAN has been increasing relative to its trade with the rest of the world. At present, ASEAN is a leading trade partner of India, especially with countries like Singapore, Malaysia, and Thailand. India holds strong economic relations. India concluded free trade agreement in goods as well as services with ASEAN, which has resulted in a rapid growth in bilateral trade. However, the FTA and goods had adversely affected, had affected the Indian farmers. As a cheaper agricultural produce from ASEAN countries like Vietnam flooded, with them flooded Indian markets, owing to increased market access to account of tariff reduction, especially the commercial crops, like rubber, species, spices, etc., were affected due to cheaper imports from Indonesia, Malaysia, and Vietnam. India could not gain much advantage in terms of market access to Asian countries, owing to the inability to compete with their goods in terms of cost. The FTA in services is expected to grow, give India some advantage. However, countries like Philippines and Indonesia did not open up to Indian export fully. So the trade deficit of India with Asian has been growing and is a matter of concern. Most most South Asian countries, Southeast Asian countries, are export driven, have uh, having high export to GDP ratio, and countries like Vietnam, Laos enjoy preferential treatment in the global market owing to their less development status. Developed status. Overall, the competitiveness of goods from Asian countries is high, and there is steep competition to Indian manufacturing as well. However, with rising labor cost in manufacturing centers of Southeast Asia and a high demographic dividend, I think India's initiative like Make in India would help in improving the export competitiveness of Indian goods. Thank you.